What's up, tricksters, and welcome to another episode of Omen to Immortal series, a series where I'm teaching you my best radiant tips, tricks, and strategies for Omen. Last episode, I've reached Diamond 2 with only 10 games played on a fresh new account, and we are already playing against Ascendant and Immortal players. If you have any questions about Omen, feel free to ask me down in the comments below, or you can join my Discord server for professional Valorant coaching. Other than that, let's hop into our first game and see if we can get a double rank up into Ascendant, baby. Now, why Omen is so strong with a shorty, especially in the first round on Defender's side, is because of his adaptive and regenerating smokes. You can easily cut angles and reshape the map to always work in your favor. For an example here, I'm using my first smoke to close the distance on short and play inside of it with a shorty. And then I'm using my second smoke to cut off the left side, which allows me to easily clear the right portion of this area. When giving info like 1 HP, low HP, 1 shot, be careful because 50 HP in a pistol round is not a low HP. Low HP is everything that you can kill with one bullet to the body or legs. Last player standing. One enemy remaining. That's long. That's long. In this example, I would go for a headshot, but I just spammed the body because my teammate said that he is low HP, and because of that information, we lost this round. I mean, of course, I could have played this much better if I just waited for my smoke to regenerate, smoke the spike, tap the spike, and kill the gecko with some unpredictable peek from the smoke, but when you give this information, you kind of give confidence to your teammates to take immediate gunfights. One of my favorite plays on Haven is using this one-way smoke on Seelong to outplay enemies. You can use this smoke to simply stop enemies push, but also you can use it for some big brain plays. For an example, if you hide inside of this smoke, you can peek the enemies on the right side when they're executing the site, and then after taking a kill, you can easily teleport behind the enemies and completely outmaneuver them. You can also simply chill inside of this smoke, wait for the enemies to push, and pick a right moment of time to teleport behind them, or simply peek them from this location once the smoke disappears. Most of the times, enemies will think that this is just a regular one-way smoke for C-Long, and they won't be expecting you on this position. And once again, I'm the living proof that you don't need good aim to be radiant in Valorant. Simply use your brain, use utility in a smart way, and that's it, baby. Also, at the start of this round, I've used this smoke on top of a main choke point to support my teammates, because I've noticed on the minimap that they are going for some aggressive play, and this smoke will support them to take the full a main control. On this position, you can also use some kind of a one-way, but I simply didn't have time to do it. When enemies are pushing your teammates on C-Set of Haven, you obviously want to throw one smoke on C-Long to stop or delay the execute, but not many players use this smoke between the platform and default, which is a very good smoke to support your teammates if they are playing at the back of the site. This smoke setups allows them to outmaneuver enemies for some easy kills, dodge enemies' utilities such as Gecko's ultimate, and creates multiple opportunities for them to stay alive longer while you're on a rotation. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Good job, guys. <laughs> Look, look at the chat, guys. This right here is once again my first round attacker strategy on Lotus with Omen, which I've already explained in the previous episode of this series, so make sure to watch every single video from beginning to the end if you don't want to miss some important information for your solo queue grind, my dear tricksters. Maybe three behind. Maybe three behind. One in smoke, one in smoke. One in smoke. Reloading. One behind, one behind. One to be CT. Behind, behind, close. One more behind. Two behind! All behind, behind. In these bonus rounds on attacker side, when you have close range weapons, your primary focus is searching for an opportunity to close the gap with enemies and outplay them with your utility. Here I use this Trilane smoke in order to surprise enemies with some run and gun specter swing, but as soon as the omen from the backside killed my teammate, a brand new opportunity appeared. I instantly flash him and teleport into this safety location of Seaside, knowing that he cannot hear me because of the flash and rest of the enemies won't notice me in this position. 
After that kill, you can notice I don't immediately go for his Vandal, because I heard one more enemy on the site, and I was preparing to engage him while keeping my location a secret. After killing Cypher, my plan was clear. I want to go on the opposite bomb site, pick up the spike with my ult, and prepare for 1v3 postplant. My plan here was to play inside of my smoke in aiming and to potentially surprise the enemies that are rotating through CT, but before that, Jet kinda gave me a free 1v1 kill. Here I was hoping that I can isolate the rest of the duels and catch the rotating players off guard, but unfortunately Reyna and Breach played as they should, together on a refresh potential and they didn't give me any space to clutch this round. Enemies boosted Bonobo Jet can definitely learn something from her teammates. This is one of my standard executes on B set of Lotus, where if you're playing Omen you want to smoke two choke points for your team and use your paranoia for the third angle, and then teleport in the middle of bomb site where you can surprise enemies and support your teammates regardless of which fight they're going to pick with enemies. After this execute I was left in a 1v1 situation against enemy Omen. I took a gamble and went C, but soon I realized that I've made a mistake, because enemy Omen was hyper focused on C site this whole match on defender side. During your gameplay in Valorant you really need to pay a close attention on enemies mentality and usual patterns that they like to abuse. That was so fucking bad. Now he can gamble, he can play here as well. Here I wanted to make him think that I'm gonna be playing inside of this smoke, and lucky for me he got jabated and I won this round with some good crosser placement. I, I, I knew he's gonna be on C because he can easily gamble that I'm gonna go on C, and if I plant the spike on A he can teleport on A and you know like uh, just do that. One enemy city, city, city. She's gonna push in 3, 2, one. Sight. Yeah. Is that is the charlatan play, man. Love Loved it, bro. Loved it. That's exactly how I would have played that scenario, man. Loved it, man. Loved it. Now, the next match on Ascent, I was heavily underperforming, and in these games, when you're not feeling your place or aim, you should only focus on properly supporting the rest of your teammates with good utility usage. Even a Radiant coach needs to be carried sometimes. And uh, thank you for the win, boys. In this round, pay attention on my movement and how I'm repositioning myself to keep my location a secret. I start the round by holding a pixel angle in hookah, but after hearing a lot of enemies on long, I instantly smoke it off and fall back into the site to support my cipher. After Sky's dog broke the tripwire, it was obvious that enemies are going to push there, so I flashed in order to delay their push and buy us some time for the rest of our team to rotate, but also I've got a phoenix salt which made this flash worth it. After that I heard Raze is getting out of the window and I'm peeking her instead of waiting for her to peek me, because that is the best way to counter peeker's advantage. Then I change my position inside of the tube and hold a close angle with a shorty expecting enemies to push, because it's super easy to get these skills with a shorty. And finally I change my position once again because I know that Sky isn't gonna expect me to peek her from this location. This is my friends the true power of Omen once you completely master this agent. This play when attacking a set of bind I call El Papito Clasico. From this play you can make multiple different outplays and it can work in any round especially in the first one. For the first round you buy classic, light, 2 teleports and 2 smokes. You place 1 smoke in the middle of bomb site and 1 smoke on top of the truck, to completely cover all of the angles from which your teammates can die while they're pushing from short. Then you're using your shrouded steps on top of the truck while in the same time you're jumping into the teleporter. This part is extremely important because of 2 reasons. Number 1, you're masking the sound of your shrouded steps and enemies won't realize that you're on top of the truck. Number 2, enemies might think that you're rotating to B site and their rotation from B to A is going to be significantly slower, while in the same time enemies on A site don't know what's actually happening. Then once you reach this position you can do enormous amount of different outplays, like for an example you can immediately jump into the lamps and make the subway sandwich out of the enemies. This outplay always works for me in Radiant lobbies, so it's definitely going to work in your elo as well, and with this play you can easily clear lamps and hold front sight for your whole team. Reloading. One enemy remaining. Careful. This strategy never fails in the first round, man. Never.
Like, like this is the most satisfying thing to do with Omen, man. The most satisfying thing. One quick tip, if you're playing Omen with Jet in the same team, always try to use her smokes and aggressive executes to surprise enemies, and to fight them together from the same smoke. With this combo, you can use your default smokes to support the rest of your team, while in the same time you're maximizing the potential of both Omen and Jet utility. Getting zero kill, man, what the fuck? We can rotate. Now, in this round, I didn't rotate together with my team because of two reasons. Number one, I need one orb or a kill to get my ultimate, so I can pick up the spike even if my teammates lose it. Number two, solo queue players are really bad when it comes to keeping the track of numbers, and their overall game awareness is extremely low. So usually when I take lamps control and my teammates are rotating to B site, I love to perform this flank from the lamps into the CT to take full A site control or to completely backstab the enemies. In this example, I've got full information that all of the enemies rotated to B site, and I gave my raise this smoke to pick up the spike and rotate back to A. Run A, run A. They have to push behind you, yeah. race. No, no, nobody's A. Plant for city. 10 seconds left. I get all of them, they all low, yeah? Spike oh my god, smoke. Care sort. One shot. Last player now, why did I use this smoke on the bomb site? Simply to make the enemies think that I'm playing around it or maybe in the CT, which gave me a free kill on Viper and allowed me to easily outmaneuver Sky with a judge in a close range gunfight. <laughs> this is why, my friends, Omen is the king of bind. Isn't it bad to lurk in the second round if you won the first round? Absolutely. Like, if you win the first round, you should never lurk. Like, in this round, what we should have Can done, we should have just pushed the, the B set as 5. And that's it. Okay, B, B alone. Let's go. Go, go, go. Cover going out. Reloading. Enemy in defense. They're behind you guys. Two on side. What are you doing? Almost the last player standing. One enemy remaining. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh Attackers win. Well well Hold on to this moment. We can't stop here. Okay, very good round to finish the match. Now, after 13 wins and only one lost game, unfortunately we didn't get a double rank up into Ascendant, but we've reached Diamond 3 and I'm already playing against some high elo players. Let's see if we can keep our win rate and make sure to watch the next episode because I'll be teaching you some 200 IQ Omen strategies for high elo. Also, keep in mind that you can access the Omen Rank playbook on my Discord server with all of these strategies and tactics for every single map in Valorant. And if you're enjoying this series, I would appreciate if you hit that subscribe button, leave a like and follow me on Twitch for some daily live streams and solo queue shenanigans. Thank you for the support and I'll see you, my dear tricksters, in the next one.